Welcome back. This is Chili Davis, and I'm back to another video. I'd like to welcome back all my subscribers and all my new viewers. This is the channel where we talk about my top stocks. We also talk about dividend stocks on this channel. And we also talk about personal finance. If you're new, please click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to get my frequent updates. Well, it is the Friday before Labor Day of 2023, and uh, the market has been kind of up and down. Uh, we do have a few stocks that were hot today. We had SoFi, uh, S-O-F-I, uh, SoFi Technologies was up 2.37%. Uh, AMD Advanced Micro Device was up 3.42%. And Okta, the cloud uh, security authentication authorization software was up 2.94%. Now, Okta did come off a good earnings call the other day. Um, they had a great earnings call uh, because they gave a good forecast for the next quarter. If we look at my post from the previous day, uh, Okta had a gain of 11.64%. So even though the stock is not trading above $80 or is trading around $80 lower than the $100 it was trading at a year ago, it's a good look moving forward with Okta, okay? So it's the security authentication authorization software. So they were up again today, uh, just 2.94%. Also, ticker symbol COP, uh, ConocoPhillips was up 2.47. This is the energy stock. It is basically my oil stock in my portfolio. It does pay a dividend. And so that's how I balance out I have some mostly 80% technology, but I do have your traditional stocks like ConocoPhillips uh, and a couple other bank stocks like Bank of America in my portfolio. Okay, so these were the top stocks of the day. Like I said, pretty much the market is down in the NASDAQ, but green in other areas. Now let's go to CNBC, just take a look at the major indexes. Okay, here we are on CNBC, and it shows you the Dow Jones Industrial Index is slightly up 0.15%. The S&P 500 companies is down 0.09%, and NASDAQ stocks are down the most 0.36%. Now, the small cap stocks are up today 1.21%, so that's a good look for a Friday. Uh, some of the, the top stories here Home prices may be on the verge of cooling off. Uh, and it says Dell has its best day on the stock market since its re-listing in 2018. So Dell Company is doing good there. Uh, and I think that's about it. Um, altcoin trading volume is off its first half highs. Here's what it will take to get it back. Okay, so these altcoins are not Bitcoin or Ethereum, but some of the smaller coins uh, looks like the volumes are off. Okay, so that is the news there. CNBC, um, uh, home prices cooling off, and the Dow Jones is up slightly while the NASDAQ is down. Now we'll go over to my Robinhood portfolio. Okay, so we're here in my Robinhood portfolio. Earlier on in the day, we had some positive numbers from the job numbers. Uh, so the portfolio was up, but as the day slipped on, as volume slowed down, uh, we're going into the holiday weekend, so volume slows down in general, and the portfolio just dropped down, down over 0.78% on the day for a loss of $19. Again, not much happening on the NASDAQ or technology side of the stock market, okay? So technology down, Amazon down, Google down, CrowdStrike down. Um, Meta is down, Facebook is down, uh, Ford is down, NVIDIA, uh, the artificial intelligent juggernaut is down slightly Today, uh, even NVIDIA is down 1.92% uh, on the day. Now, mind you, NVIDIA is strong. 
I uh, did hit five hundred dollars per share uh, last week. Uh, let's see, what was it? Uh, last week did hit highs of nearly um, five hundred dollars per share last week. Um, and again, the video is red hot. Uh, I have doubled my money in my position here in this portfolio. I'm up a little over 98% on my position here. Uh, as you can see, up 98%. NVIDIA is the stock of the year. Artificial intelligence is where it's at. It could be a good time to pick up the shares here at $460 or $470 per share. For Looks like trading about $484 today. It may be a good time to pick up some NVIDIA, okay? So those were the stocks today. NVIDIA being down and most of NASDAQ stocks, technology stocks are down. Uh, but there was a few bright spots like SoFi. Uh, if we take a quick look at SoFi, ticker symbol SOFI, uh, SoFi Technologies. Again, this is the FinTech stock. Uh, it is an official bank. They do student loans. They do home loans, car loans, and main product is personal loans and student loan refinancing. Again, with student loans resuming today uh, during the month of September of 2023, I think payments become due late September. Again, SoFi may garner a lot of those student loans out there that may need refinancing. Okay, so the shares were up today 2%. And I think I said I'm still down in my position in this particular stock. Uh, but so far, it's making its way, hopefully, back to $11 per share. That's what we saw during the earnings call about two weeks ago. So far, shares had hit $11 in some change. Okay. So this is one of the hot stocks today, So far Technologies, again, led by uh, Mr. Anthony Noto. We'll see what So far has in store over the next month. Let's see, as student loans come online, if they garner new customers that come into the platform, uh, whether it's for stock trading or for insurance or just to refinance their student loan, okay? So lastly, we'll go take a look at my TD Ameritrade account. Okay, pretty much today we're down in this portfolio as well. As we saw in the Robinhood, we're down 1%, and pretty much we're down 1% here in the TD Ameritrade account, down $438. A lot of that being Tesla. But anywho, uh, today, again, the top stock today is SoFi Technologies up 2% for a gain of $64. AMD up 3.25% for a gain of $50. And ChargePoint up 4.61%. Uh, so those are some of the hot stocks, including Okta. Remember, Okta was a big beneficiary during the uh, pandemic uh, work from home over the internet, everything was cloud. Uh, Okta has uh, garnered more market share. Uh, they also acquired a company last year. I think it was uh, off zero. They acquired another similar company and they have merged and thus far uh, starting to perform well together. Let's see if the stock price can get back to 100 or uh, blow past $100 per share. I think it's a high quality product. Check out Okta again, shares up today 2.90%. And the previous day, uh, after earnings, they were up over 11%. Okay, so keep your eye out on Okta. Okay, now lastly, we'll go over to the losers for today. As I mentioned, Tesla was the biggest loser today, Tesla being down 5.80%. Uh, it is about a third of this portfolio, so quite a hit on the portfolio down over 5.80% uh, for a loss of $700. NVIDIA, one of the greatest AI stocks of 2023, artificial intelligence led by Jason Wong up, well, down 1.79%. But as I mentioned earlier, still a great buy. Uh, we'll see if this stock blow passes uh, $500 per share again, like it did uh, last week on earnings call, okay? And four down slightly, 0.45. Remember, they have the uh, Lightning F-150. We'll see what happens with that. There is a possible uh, 
motor company strike going on. It's not necessarily Ford, but uh, in general, uh, automotive strikers are possibly going on strike. And uh, Amazon down slightly 0.49%. Okay. Now, remember, volume is slow. It is Friday before a holiday. We'll be off on Monday. We'll come back on Tuesday. The market will open on Tuesday. And hopefully, we'll get some of these losses back on Monday. Okay. But again, top stock of the day is SoFi. SoFi Technology is up 2.37% for a gain of 70 two dollars okay so that was my video i want to thank everybody for watching thank you for listening please like share if you like this started in trading or investing please use the Robinhood link below and have a fantastic day today